Vladimir Putin is now willing to see Iran and United States sign the new nuclear deal. We traditionally thought Russia should be against any rapprochement between Tehran and the West. This time though, things are totally different and Russia definitely wants the deal. But why? Hello everyone, I'm Shafi. Welcome to the new episode of Polite Affairs. In this episode, we're going to have a look at Russia's role in the nuclear deal. Vladimir Putin's Russia has not been seen as a promising and reliable partner for Tehran because Kremlin has repeatedly turned its back on Iran in recent years. Sanctions were an example. All Russian big companies halted activities in Iran. Yes, some of those projects went on, but there was no new investment or sharing of technology. But now, Moscow is in the same place where Tehran has been for decades and Kremlin has different expectations. It wants Iran's support. Russia plans to use Iran as a backdoor to bypass international sanctions over Ukraine if Tehran's nuclear deal with the world powers comes back into force. Moscow has dispatched teams of trades and finance officials as well as executives from Gazprom and other companies to Tehran in July following Russian President Vladimir Putin's meeting with Iranian leadership to lay the groundwork for closer cooperation between the two countries. In recent weeks, Iran also sent two official delegations to Moscow focused on energy and finance. The principal attraction of Iran is that it provides a backup route to sell sanctioned Russian crude oil and other products. Russian oil exports face an almost total embargo from EU countries from December this year. But if an international nuclear accord is struck with Iran, that would provide a perfectly timed plan B for Vladimir Putin. Under what traders call a swap arrangement, Iran could import Russian crude to its northern Caspian coast and then sell equivalent amounts of crude on Russia's behalf in Iranian tankers leaving from the Persian Gulf. Thanks to the possible upcoming nuclear pact, the Iranian oil exported from the south would be exempted from sanctions. This strategy depends on whether the atomic deal under which Iran would limit its nuclear activities in return for sanctions relief is renewed. Many diplomats involved in the talks say a deal is closed, though neither of US nor Iran has accepted the EU's latest proposal. Among the proposal's most vocal supporters is Mikhail Ulyanov, Russia's ambassador to Vienna-based international organizations. In a sign of the importance now being accorded to Tehran, Putin's visit to Iran in July was the first to a country outside the former Soviet Union since the outbreak of the war. As a gesture of goodwill, Tehran and Moscow used the occasion to announce a memorandum of understanding on a $40 billion worth of joint project. Moscow is looking across Central Asia, Iran and Turkey to find loopholes around restrictions on imports and also exports. And which country has more experience in this field than Iran? Iranians have become masters of bypassing sanctions in recent four decades. Now, even if the deal is not reached, still Iran could have profound value for Moscow to help them send and get what they want through their traditional secret routes. But the deal could be more efficient, especially while US has already exempted Iran from working with Russian market in case any accord is reached. For Moscow, as it seems, Iran and Turkey are the best choices to get help from even as Russia is increasingly turning to China and India, two long-standing partners to fill that void. The Kremlin is also wary of being dominated by the pair, both of which are considerably larger than Russia from economic point of view. But Iran, like Turkey, which Russia has also worked with in recent months, is easier for Moscow to manage. And Iran is also more friendly to Russia than Turkey is. What do you think about it? I'll be glad to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and also to share your opinion with me in the comments. There are dozens of other videos on similar issues in my channel. Don't forget to check them out.